<laughs> I can't take myself seriously with this lipstick on. Oh my god. <laughs> Last night was on my own. Hi friends, welcome to my channel. My name is Annabelle of Labana Beauty. And if it's your first time stopping by, welcome. You're a little late, but you know you can catch up. <laughs> Today I'm coming to you with snatched brows on this holiday slay tutorial. I don't know why I'm being so dramatic, but I'm coming with you with a holiday look because um anyone who knows me knows that Christmas is my favorite time of the year. I absolutely love the Christmas holiday, especially because since I came to college in America, Christmas is the time when I go home and it's just like amazing to finally go home. But then this year is a little different. I'm not going home until so, like I was feeling a little down earlier and like, you know, sad. I was like, you know what, Annabelle, nothing has the right to make you sad. Not even your Christmas holiday, not even missing Nigeria because joy comes from within, you know? <laughs> I don't know why I'm being so dramatic today. I got some new makeup and I decided to film this holiday look. And yeah, I think I'm going to do a series. So I think this is going to be the first one. They're going to, it's going to be called the Hol the Christmas Slay series. Like Slay, like Santa Claus and his Slay. <laughs> I'm funny. <laughs> But yeah, I'm, I'm serious though. Like I'm going to do that series. Hopefully I can continue and be consistent. I'm going to do this one maybe like two or three so That's just going to be a brief series. But yeah, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below And if you want to see how I achieve the look that I'm, you're going to see at the end. It's not here now yet <laughs> Keep watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye so I'm back with one eye done and one eye not done and basically the look is a simple cut crease with a red glitter line to cut the crease and this look is going to go perfectly with my lipstick. First I go in with this warm brown shade and I just use it as my transition shade and work it into my crease with this big fluffy brush. Then I go in with another blending brush and I use a deeper brown just to deepen my crease further. Then I go in with another dark brown and I mix these two dark brown shades and I use it as my crease color to actually deepen my crease and I flare it out because that's how I'm going to cut the crease. Then it was looking too neutral for me so I went in with these warm orange shades and just blended them into my crease just to warm it up a little bit. Now it's time to cut the crease so I go in with my Elega Pro Concealer in Warm Honey. I look up so the concealer stains the top of my eyelid and that gives me an outline to carve out my crease. Now this takes time and practice. I did it really quick in this video because it's sped up but it takes a lot of time so just take your time with this. Calm down and take your time. <laughs> yes I brought my baby love me. After filling in the space with the concealer, I go in with these two shades from the Morphe palette. The first one was too yellow and the other one was too pink. So mixing both gave me the perfect shade and I just fill it in and use it to set or like fill in wherever I put the concealer. Then I go in with a smudge brush and just deepen the crease, the line a little bit so it's the demarcation is clearer, the crease is cut sharper essentially. Then I blend, that's important. Then I go in with my lash adhesive and this random red glitter from Michaels. I put some lash adhesive on the back of my hand and use this thin, really thin brush to carve out my crease essentially and then I put the glitter and I work with small sections because that makes it easier and the glitter wouldn't dry too fast and you have more control. So also take your time. To give my love the presents this Christmas all I'm wanting is a present. I have a love-hate relationship for glitter. It goes everywhere. So I go in with my spoolie brush to clean off the glitter that fell out anywhere. And that also helps to sharpen the line. And then I just further blend out the crease. I went ahead to pop my lashes on off camera. And this is what the eyes are looking like so far. So I'm going to do the rest of my face. And I'll be right back. Mm-hmm. <laughs> So I went ahead to finish the rest of my face and I put on some blush, I did my contour, my skin, highlight, all of that. I just haven't put on my lipstick and I haven't put on highlighter. And I'm going to do those on camera because they're fancy. And you've seen me do my whole skin a million times. So I'm going to go in with Artist Couture's Broadway. It's a pinkish gold highlighter. 
It looks really pink, but it comes off as gold when you apply it. It's really cool. Now that I'm done with that, I'll go in with my powder brush and just blend it out a little bit, just so it's not too harsh. It's so pretty. I'm trying to keep everything within the pinkish, reddish family for this slay. <laughs> Next, I'm going in with this Too Faced Lip Injection Extreme. It's like a moisturizing lip gloss and also a lip plumper. And I'm using it as the base before I apply my lipstick, just so my lips are a little more plump and the lines on my lips are less visible since it's a liquid lipstick and it will probably settle into the lines if not. So while the lip injection is doing its thing, I'm going to go back in with the Morphe palette and just take a blend of colors and smoke under my waterline. Last night was on my own, listening to the sound of all the happy children. Because I want the black to be a little more intense, I'm going to set the tight line pencil area with the black eyeshadow from the Morphe palette carefully. And I'm going to go in with a little bit of that highlighter shade and pop that in my inner tear duct. Wrapping up the eye look with some mascara on my lower lash. Now for the start of the show, the Stunner Lip Paint in Uncensored. I'm going to take a tissue and just dab. I'm super nervous because I haven't worn lipstick in like years. So I'm going to go in with this lip liner, my Hot Cocoa by NYX. Okay, now we're going in with the lipstick. It has a really cool wand. And I'm going to start by dropping off the excess because when I Oh this is shocking. Shockingly bright. Wow. Last night was on my own. Listening to the sound of all the happy children playing up. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about this. I mean, <laughs> so I'm back, and this is the finished look. This is the neutral cut crease with the red glitter and my stunner lip paint. I can't take myself seriously with lipstick on. Like, I haven't worn red lipstick in years lip. I went ahead and let it dry down a little bit and added a little bit of my current lip liner just because it was way too bright for me but all in all like I kind of like it do I see myself wearing this lipstick again honestly I'm not sure I don't think I'll ever reach for lipstick just in general but it looks really pretty with this look and I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. That's important. Let me tell you what a thumbs up does. I'm going to tell you. So you thumbs up my video means that when people search like whatever I use or like the title, the chances of it coming up are higher because people watched it and people liked it. Feel me? Feel me there? And we need those views to keep counting. And thanks for 2K6 or 7 on the Fenty Beauty um, video and 1K plus on the hair. How I slick my ponytail back. I know those seem like the little numbers, but like for me, success is success. Even little successes count. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. This, this lipstick is making my teeth look all sorts of white. Yes, <laughs> since you're here, you might as well just check out my previous uploads. Like they're right here. Mhm. Mm just check it out. Mhm. Mm I'm really feeling this look. Like I feel so old and mature. But yeah, don't forget to check out my previous uploads. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Have a blessed day. Bye.